Hi, thanks for sharing, <clears throat> excuse me, sharing your plan. I worked this out. I think that's what you want. And I thought I'd show, show you how I did it. I'm going to open a second instance of your plan. Let's see, which one did I open here? Like maybe this one? I'll soon see. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the one in its original. Okay, so here's the one I fixed, which uh, I'll save and close that. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now I'm going to, uh, for your edification, <clears throat> create a uh, overview. Then I'm going to hit the shift key and F6 to uh, tile the screens. And see, I think it's easier to see using vector view. So I'm going to change the vector view and turn the color off. You can really starkly see the, the lions involved. So what I generally do is auto-generate it like you did and then just straighten it out. I'm going to turn the snap grid off because that, when you're working on manual roofs, that tends to work against you. You know, creating snap points that are not necessarily where you want to go towards the Okay. Now I'm going <clears> to <throat> click on this one, straighten it out. I guess he had auto build roofs on. I turn that manually editing that just tends to turn it off. And I, I don't want this jog here. So I'm going to drag that over here. You notice I'm zooming in. See, I, 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 sometimes you have to really zoom in close to get those breakpoints uh, erased. I'm gonna drag it to another corner. So this is a straight, straight line. <coughs> I'm gonna reattach this ridge using uh, join ropes. Just to straighten that out. When you're ma manually editing roofs, it's, uh, oh, there's an extra break there. I didn't realize it was there. I'm going to leave that right about there in that shape. And same thing with this side. <coughs> okay. Now, what I want is a gable roof here. I guess I should join that ridge. Okay, I want a gable roof here. I'm going to draw one. The automatic roof generator is just not capable of, of that complicated the geometry. Sorry, <laughs> but that's the case. I'm going to left click drag a baseline and then move my mouse in the direction I want it to slant and then left click to create half of a gable. Left click over here, drag in the direction I want it to go. The next thing is I want these two roof planes here with the same baseline height as the auto generator one. This 115 and let me 115 and 516, see? And I just don't trust the software to do that. And sure enough, it's close. We want that 115 and 516. And I locked the pitch, so if you did, didn't lock the pitch, then the pitch would change, and then you'd be adding another variable to this unnecessarily. I'm going to lock the pitch. Okay, that one's correct. So now I can uh, join these now that they're symmetric in their settings. So there's our gable. I'm going to pull, whoops. There we go. I'm going to pull this out and set the overhang at 18. Whoops. Not this time, that time, here we go. Okay, we'll click on this one, set the overhang. 
If you don't set the over and see walls pop up like that. Okay, next thing is, I think this is gonna end up being a triangle. And this is gonna end up being a triangle. I better zoom in to make sure I get that, yeah. There we go. Let me check the other side. Yeah, it looks all right. Now, I'm gonna click on this edge, use the join roofs tool, left click, and then click on that one. Ah, perfect. And then we click on this one, join roofs tool. Okay, I didn't get my sequence exactly right. And as the French say, say voila. <laughs> there it is. And there's no way to get around having to learn how to uh, manually edit roofs because the roof generator is pre programmed to do what it does. And when it won't do what you need, then you're going to have to step in and fix it. And you fix it with the manual roof tools that you have in Pro and in Chief Premier. So hope this helps you out. And uh, whether it does or not, have a great day. Now, I'm not going to upload the file. You need to learn to do this yourself. I've shown you how. So do it and then become more confident. Okay. Thank you. Make it a great day.